Good day everyone! This is Sir Jasper and we are now about to discuss our lesson for today. Welcome once again, Grade 7 Learners! For our most essential competency, we have to transcode information from linear to non-linear text and vice versa. Based on the pictures that I've shown in the screen, what do you think is our lesson for today? in the week 7 and 8. You got it! Our lesson for the week 7 and 8 is all about linear and non-linear text. Linear and non-linear text. Understanding the differences between linear and non-linear text is an essential skill as we encounter this text almost every day. The main difference between the two lies in the way the text is read or processed by an individual. Experts call this pattern of reading of a material. Experts call this pattern of reading a material as reading path. Experts call this pattern of reading a material as reading path. When we present information, the readers like you should be able to know what's with the text. So, we have two ways of presenting information. We're going to discuss further the linear and non-linear text. A linear text refers to traditional text that needs to be read from beginning to end in order to make sense of its content. It follows a sequential reading path where the reader tries to make sense of the text through grammatical arrangement and relationship of words. The common examples of this type include novels, poems, short stories, letters, and educational text. When we say linear text, it is more on words. These words are being constructed into statements and information for you to be able to understand in a way that is in order as what is being stated in the definition it follows a sequential or orderly reading path the common examples are novels poems short stories letters and educational text can you name some more examples a non-linear text, on the other hand, is non-sequential. This means that the readers, not the author, decide how the text is to be read without necessarily following a prescribed pattern. The most common examples of non-linear text include flowcharts, charts, graphs, and other graphic organizers. When we say nonlinear text, it is not sequential or not in order. It means that presentation can be presented through pictures, through graphs, so that the information can be understood creatively and comprehensively. We have these examples such as flowcharts, charts, graphs, and other graphic organizers. A line graph is a graphical display of data that continuously changes over a specific amount or period of time. The line or lines represent movement and may ascend or descend depending on the trend they show. From the word itself, the graph is being presented by line or lines. It can be in the ascending, which goes upward, or descending, which goes downward. It follows a trend. Where in, in this example, you can see from the year 2008 up to 2016, there is a trend wherein the amount were in the rate increased or decreased. Also known as a bar chart or bar diagram, 
A bar graph is a graphical representation of data that uses bars to compare data according to given categories. Such bars may run either vertically or horizontally. Bar graph is usually being presented using bars like this one. In this example, is it vertical or horizontal? Last, it is vertical. This is the movement of vertical while this is the movement for the horizontal. A pie chart or pie graph is a circular statistical tool. It uses portions or slices to represent numerical proportions or percentages of a given whole. Pie graph is in circular form in most of the illustrations. And as what is being told in the definition, it is being composed of percentages or proportions that make up that make up a whole like this one. For this example, with a total respondents of 828, the largest percentage, which is 63.2, belongs to the incoming SPJ10 Elijah Parish Joy. 10.5% is incoming SPJ9 Martin Luther King Jr. And lastly, we have 26.3% for the incoming SPJ8 Khalil Degrand. Did you understand, class? If you understood, job well done! A Venn diagram uses overlapping shapes, usually circles, to show or represent the similarities and differences between two or more items or concepts. In this figure, the similarities is at the center, while the differences are being presented through item 1 and item 2. Transcoding linear to nonlinear text and vice versa. To transcode means to transform something from one form to another. In order to transcode a linear to a nonlinear text or the other way around, one must first be able to fully understand what the source text is about. This way, deciding on the proper text type to be used in the transcoding process will be easier. In this definition, we should be able to know how to transcode linear to nonlinear text and also nonlinear text to linear text. In this matter, we are going to interpret the information correctly. To transcode a linear text to a nonlinear text, one may follow these steps. Step 1. Read and understand the source text to get its main or central ideas. Step 2. Extract important details to be included in the visual presentation. Step 3. Remember to use words or phrases only. Step 4. To be organized, classify information into categories. Step 5. Make sure to use the appropriate non-linear text in presenting your information. Thank you very much for listening. Again, this is Sir Jasper. See you again next time. Goodbye!